truly nothing more important than carving out a space that you enjoy coming to to get work done, especially if you work from home like I do. When we bought our first home in the summer, it was pretty clear that the room above the garage would end up serving as my studio office space. Compared to other rooms in our home, this one clearly made the most sense for the space that I needed to film and create content in. However, I am not a huge fan of these rooms, mainly due to the weird and low ceilings in rooms like this one, and they're often used as kind of entertainment rooms or playrooms, so I did spend a lot of time planning out how I wanted it to function as my office. In its current state, it had disgusting old carpet, blue walls, and textured ceilings. First course of action, after replacing all of the carpet for these gorgeous white oak plank hardwoods, was to renovate the ceilings. Now, popcorn ceilings are actually pretty easy to remove and refinish yourself, but we had something called stamped ceilings that were actually painted over, and they made these really sharp and weird stalactites of paint from the ceiling. And because these ceilings are low and sloped, it really weighed this room down and brought your attention to these textured ceilings. We did actually try to start the DIY process ourselves for the ceilings, and it was too much of a hassle than it was worth. which means somebody took a broom, dipped it into joint compound, and basically finished the ceiling that way. And because of that, it's not easy to spray and scrape like regular popcorn ceilings. I did spray and scrape a small section, and it's coming off. It's not perfect, but it's time consuming. And so I tried sanding it, that went a little better, but again, time consuming. So I think this is probably a project that should be hired out. Which is really unfortunate. But I still gave it an honest attempt. up hiring a contractor to do the job for us who focuses solely on ceilings. It took five full days of work to get the ceilings flat, so it was definitely worth hiring out that project, and it would have taken me months to get a perfect finish. Once the ceiling was done, we could finally move into the rest of the renovation. And since going through other projects in my home, I've really fallen in love with a more minimal design but injected with some soft textures or gentle touches of color, and I wanted to carry that through to this space. I am obsessed with the look of lime wash, and then I discovered all of the environmental pros after the fact. All of the walls got several coats of primer, so when I went to lime wash, there wouldn't be blue peeking through. Lime wash will make you feel like you're an old European artist. You have to be pretty flexible when it comes to lime wash since it's very, very different in color and look while it's wet. You just have to trust that it will all look good in the end. I actually stuck with one coat of lime wash because I loved how much texture I got with just that one coat. If I wanted to go with an even more subtle texture, a second coat is recommended, but I just love the texture and I left it at the one coat.
Okay, so studio update. I purchased these paintable, paintable out covers. So I'm going to paint these and then I have one for the light switch. So I'm going to lime wash these to have it blend in with the lime wash, the walls. And then I purchased, and then I purchased, this as part of the cable management. So these are sleek sockets. These are just from Amazon. Um, you put this on your outlet, kind of just like plug it in like normal. And then it has this drop cord that comes off and then you can plug things into. So it allows you to push your furniture closer to the wall or you could paint these, which is what I'm going to do to have them blend in with the wall. And then I'm going to use cable runways to kind of plan out and run the cords underneath the edge of the rug. That way you won't be able to see the cords since I am floating my desk in the middle of the room. So the material for this is slick though, whereas with the paintable outlook covers, they have this rough finish. So I'm not gonna prime these, I'm just gonna go ahead and lime wash those. But I will prime these. So I just have spray primer here. So I'm going to prime these and then I'm going to lime wash everything. And then I can start setting up for the cable management. Now, the closet. I'm a big fan of organization, obviously, but the contractor wire shelves just were not doing it. After removing the shelves and filling the gigantic holes that these put in the wall, I settled on this semi-DIY closet organization. What I love about this system are the drawers. It's a nice mix of shelving and drawers, which will be perfect for storing all of my photo and video equipment. For a more custom look, I exchanged the hardware it came with with the brass hardware that I ordered from Amazon. Arguably, the most important part of my office is my desk. I really wanted a desk that felt like it was actually made for this space and not just a desk that I bought and randomly stuck in a room. I thought the best course of action was to actually buy a butcher block countertop and install my own standing legs and cable management and just stain the top to my preferred color. And I ran into a lot of issues. I spent over three weeks trying to get the perfect neutral white oat look and butcher blocks just pull way too warm and yellow. I tried all the tricks with mixing paint to knock off the warmth, different stain combinations, just a huge color wheel of a mess. I just accepted defeat at that point and I painted the entire desk black and I was pretty disappointed with my setup. Several months later, still in the renovating process and I came across the Ergonofis desk system. Their Alive desk specifically was exactly what I had envisioned for my desk, and so that was the desk that I chose for my office space. Because I have tons of files and documents too, I opted for a matching filing cabinet to roll under my desk, and it just turned out to be the perfect setup. And then I was able to repurpose the other desk that I was using for use in the garage. It made the most sense to float the desk in the center of the room. I tried other combinations and they all felt kind of juvenile, never really felt or made sense for the space. And because I decided to float the desk, this means I had to get creative with cable management. The great thing about Ergon Office was that they have already included some cable management solutions with my desk system, but I also took to Amazon to shield and contain my cords with cable railways. Now my favorite part of the studio and what took the longest to finish was the window seat and the bookshelves. Originally, we were going to do this ourselves. I actually hacked together some plans and everything was working out with a bit of sweat and taking measurement after measurement. And then things went wrong again. I ordered my drawer boxes for the window seat online based off measurements I took from what we had already built. And they somehow ended up being the wrong sizes despite my taking multiple measurements and rechecking everything. And after taking the time to process those emotions of waiting on 
this forever it felt like and it just not working out. I did decide to hire a carpenter to kind of bring my ideas to life and make use of those same drawer boxes that were in the wrong sizes for my original build out. The idea was to have a window seat with three drawers for storage and then two symmetrical bookshelves that go all the way to these sloped ceilings. Again, I really like the combination of having drawers and shelves for storage because I think you can't go wrong with having both of those options. And so it took a really long time to finally come together and with a few final touches, I'm obsessed with the final reveal. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope for this space finally came to life. It's exactly how I envisioned. And I am incredibly happy to come to this space every day to work, get inspired and connect with you and this community. There's still one more project that I have left for this space and that's to refinish the closet doors, make them look more modern. But it's not a high priority for me right now since I wanna focus energy into other spaces in my home. I will have links for everything in this space in the description of this video. But until then, I can't wait to get to work. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.